Hello, I'm James Riley, Editorial Director at InnovationOz.com. I'm on the Gold Coast today visiting with Gilmore Space Technologies as it enters the final stages of preparation of its Eris launch vehicle, an Australian designed and manufactured rocket carrying satellites designed and built in Australia and launched from Australian soil. The project is a perfect vehicle for telling a story about ambition, and that's what we're here to talk about today. The global launch market is huge. Ignition and liftoff. There are more satellites than there are available rockets and spaces on those rockets. The potential was limitless for the space industry in Australia over the next 10 years and beyond. We've got the expertise, we've put it all together, and that is quite unique in this country. I originally was a banker when I left university. I worked at Citibank for 20 years in financial markets, but I've always had a passion for space. I left the bank in 2015 to start this company. And there's many reasons why I want to build an orbital rocket company. One of them is to satisfy my ambition of going to space myself one day. The other thing that I noticed when I came back to Australia was there was this lack of ambition in the country and I worked overseas for 20 years and I just didn't see that in any of the other countries that I worked in. And when I came back, I just thought, I'm gonna show the way. And when we go to space, we'll show Australia that you can do things that are deemed impossible. My name is Nick Lindsay. I'm the chief of staff at Gilmore Space Technologies. I was the kid who grew up and wanted to be Maverick. I went to the US Naval Academy, learned how to fly airplanes with the Navy, which was really exciting. I'm an aerospace engineer. I left SpaceX as the director of spacecraft manufacturing for the Dragon spacecraft, doing an amazing job of carrying humans to orbit right now. The culture and the feel and the excitement and the activity was very similar then as what I see today here at Gilmore. When we first started, the government would come to our factory and say, why don't you just make a component for a foreign primes vehicle? And we said, no, we're, we're making the whole thing ourselves. You know, we don't want to be subordinate to somebody else. We want to be able to make everything we can. Our goal is to be very vertically integrated, and it's something that doesn't generally exist in Australian manufacturing in general, and definitely doesn't exist in aerospace manufacturing within Australia. We're developing advanced rockets and satellites that are going to be less expensive, made right here in Australia by Australians with Australian raw materials. There's the commercial opportunity of helping to deliver advanced technologies developed in Australia or outside of Australia to space. And then you look at the defense and sovereign capability side of things. We wanna be the transportation system to and from the moon. I hope that we are supporting SpaceX's mission to take mankind to Mars. And I also think we'll be developing a spacecraft, a crew capsule to carry Australian astronauts into orbit. I had a, a big interest in becoming an astronaut and doing something in space from a very young age. It was a kind of thing that happened elsewhere in the world. Flying was definitely something that I, I really loved and, and had a huge passion for. Flying in the, in the military as a, as a fast jet pilot and an experimental test pilot. I would hope that I provide inspiration for people that are seeking to make a career in aerospace and specifically in the space industry and I'd, I'd thoroughly encourage anybody to give it a go. The way we look at it is as long as Australia can pump out engineers from the universities, we can take them and train them and they can make rockets. Literally six to 12 months after someone graduates from university, we put them in charge of a major subsystem of the rocket and they do a good job. There's some other space companies around that are growing and doing well. And between all of us, I think we show a very good story to people that are coming up through school that they think this really can be done. I can go and build rockets in Australia and they certainly can, we want them here. I believe launch vehicles are one of the most complicated 
machines that humankind has. The more tests we did, the more engines we fired, and you know, as we started to build this first rocket that's behind me, I think a lot of people have realised it's gone from a concept to actual hardware on the floor, and that's when the credibility really comes. We'll be the ninth country in the world that has ever gone to orbit. And if you look at the other ones, it's US, China, Russia, Japan, you know, countries that have massive economies compared to us. You know, this is like the underdog stepping up to the plate on the world stage. You know, I think it will be fantastic for the country. On launch day, I'm going to be very nervous. My heart rate will probably go up to about 180. I may not sleep the night before. The countdown is the most nervous bit. Ready for liftoff. You know, the last 10 seconds, you know, you're holding your chest like this and you're looking at the rocket and you're going, go baby, go. But as long as I see fire and it starts going that way, it's going to be fantastic. seeing an Australian design manufactured and launched a rocket from Australian soil and Australian launch site will, will be incredibly rewarding and I'll be super proud. Having thought about it right now, that's giving me goosebumps to think about that. And I really do think it'll be a watershed event where people will say, don't be negative, we build rockets here in Australia. We're well on the road to doing that.